hey what's up everyone so when you do these videos one of the things that youtube does is it tells you what other <clears throat> related content you can make that people are looking at and one of the suggestions i got was to make a video on filters and at first i was thinking oh this is so trivial you know who needs to see a filter on videos and then i remembered that yeah there are some things over the years that i have only picked up because i've seen a co-worker do it on their screen so they're sharing a screen and i see what they're doing and that's the only way i know how certain things work so filters are a lot used in service now it's actually a very powerful feature and some of the ways to do these filters is also sometimes a little bit hidden so you cannot figure out you know so how some things work so i'll show you some common things that i do by no means comprehensive but things that i just do all the time and I think will be useful to anyone seeing. So first, you know, filter is uh, you are filtering a list, list view basically. And one of the most common things I do is I have a list of stories here and I say, okay, what is assigned to me? And the most common way to do it is there is this thing called show matching. So when you click on show matching, you know, it builds this click uh, filter said assigned to equals whatever was the matching field. So that's one thing that I definitely use very commonly. Then the other thing that I kind of use very commonly is filter out. So what that means is now it will filter out all of the values that do not match this. Right. So you have uh, the, this is the first one I made and this is the second one I made. So not equals. So let's do one more and then I want to see uh, all which are eight points. So now it, you see that, you know, it's building all this query here. So this is nothing but a filter. And uh, if you were to see it in the actual filter view, which is this filter here, you can see that it is building these conditions. And with a few simple clicks, it just did all of that. All right. So before I go to the filter, I will just show you some useful tips here, which is one is if you just click here like this, it will say remove next condition. So what it will do is it will take this condition and it very helpfully crosses the condition out and it will remove this. So I removed this. And now uh, there is another thing that you can do is from here, if you click this, what it will do is anything to the right of that filter will be removed. So all subsequent conditions will be removed. So here, you know, I just killed all of it. So this thing is very useful. I mean, I do this all the time and uh, when I go here is when I have to build an OR condition. So you cannot build an OR condition the way I showed you or when you have to put a date, uh, date condition. So let me first show you the OR condition. So if I said assigned to is in this case, uh, this OR and it will come underneath because it's trying to uh, it's at the same level, right? So that's why it's underneath. So you can create this or condition. And let me just keep this here. So this is one reason to do it. The other reason to do it, which I often find is any date. So created is usually a field, you know, any on any table created. If you say on, so there are many operators here and on is a common operator that I always use not on before or at or after between trend relative. So on is comes with various options and uh, you can select something like last year last two years and things like that and then say you know show me what happened last year and this is a very quick way to see it another thing that i use is when i'm when i know that i'm looking for something between a certain date and when i know that i'll be looking at this filter over and over again so if i wanted to look at q3 and q3 is just finished i will not say last quarter I will actually, I will actually write filter which says that uh, puts the dates in between so that uh, when I'm looking at it later on, you know, by, I mean, three months just fly and then the last quarter is actually Q4, not Q3. So that's one reason to do it like this. So let's just say, you know, I'll just select on because I don't want to type all that thing. So on last year, uh, whatever, right, last two years, let's say. Now, once you have done this, you know, next thing is you are probably looking at this often. So how do you save it? Now, at least in my experience, these things, filters, things like this are usually for your own use or 
with the use with a few other co-workers because if you had to do something which is more you want to show it to a larger number of people then you should use the same thing but in reports right you could build a report on the on the list view and then you can save it put it in the dashboard and all that but this in my experience at least generally is just for you and a few friends or co-workers what not so very easy way of saving which is my default way of saving which people told me that you know it's not a very good way of saving but anyway this url is actually it contains all of these conditions so if i just bookmarked it you will see that it you know and anytime you refer to that bookmark it will uh, it will just rebuild that query for you and then show the result but of course this is not you know the service now way of doing it so what is the service now way of doing it uh, the other common thing that i've seen some of my uh, you know colleagues do is they create a favorite out of it so let me show you again here in this hamburger icon when you click on this you can create a favorite so you create a favorite and you know you say my stories and uh, it will just create something for you here and then anytime you can go to favorites and say my stories okay so you know it created the filter for you now i believe the standard way or the more uh, service now way of doing it is actually they give you a save filter field here so you should use this and say that save for everyone and save as you know let's say one your stories i never use this and uh, the reason is that this filter goes and sits under sys definitions so the next time you have to use it you go here and uh, this is actually under the system definition module so uh, this is my experience i i mean if you are big users of service now probably for you as well the system definition module is not very accessible to all users it's more restricted especially in the production environment so we don't even have this here if i were to do it in my service now you know actual account that i use for my work i would not even see this it's hidden from me but you know if you have this then you can go here and search for your uh, whatever you did my stories i believe it was or is it uh my filter perhaps this is this is the one that i believe i created because it's on my name but anyway i mean this is where it goes and sits so probably not very practical i think even with with in terms of how you would use it you would probably like go to the same place over and over again and therefore i would suggest that if you don't if you are not in the habit of making bookmarks then go here create a favorite favorites you probably are used to right because you go here and on the menu there are many things so you have built some favorites so these are some ways you know common ways and i use in in which i use filters and i've seen others around me using filters and sometimes these things like seem so trivial and uh, things that you do all the time that hey does it really merit to investigate more but you know as you can see there are a lot of features and a different parts of the screen sometimes that if somebody doesn't tell you or you don't observe somebody doing then you would never know so i i think it's helpful to know some of these things and it increases your productivity and certainly over the years i've learned a lot about these from my coworkers and i appreciate that so i hope you uh, learned something today in this small topic and if you have any questions you know please leave a comment and i'll try to answer them all right thank you